hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here, and thanks for watching my videos. And I've had some viewer requests to talk about this topic of how much money I make on my YouTube videos. And most recently, someone asked if it was worthwhile to um, make couponing videos on YouTube um, to make some money. So that's what I was going to discuss today. <laughs> okay, so um, I want you to understand a little bit about my YouTube channel um, because my YouTube channel and the revenue I make in w no way compares to these people who have 3 million subscribers. <laughs> okay, so um, I've had my channel for five and a half years. Five years of that, the last five years, I've been monetizing my videos. So you might see the ads running at the beginning of the videos or the overlay ads. Um, you know, I have um, almost 14,000 subscribers right now, but also taking into account that over 5,000 people have unsubscribed my channel over the years. Um, and looking at my statistics on who watches my videos, 50%, it's about split even, are subscribed to my channel, and 50% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed to my channel. Okay, so... Um, I have other videos. Um, <laughs> most of my videos are about um, couponing and finding um, deals that way, saving money. Um, but I have some other um, repair videos and everything. Okay, and I've just rolled over 3 million video views total, and I have like 2,391 videos right now. Um, and I, so I'm averaging more than eight videos a week that I'm making. And of course, the more videos you have, the more potential for views, the more revenue you can make. So you have to take that into in account. If you're only making one video a week, it's not going to be the same as what is going on with me. Okay. Um, so basically, um, in the last five years, I've made over $7,000 off of my YouTube channel. Um, which is nothing to quit my job over, <laughs> right? And I have to say, most of that has been in the last couple of years. Um, and of course, the more that my channel grows, the more revenue I've made. There's a big correlation between that and the more views that I get. Um, you know, right now I'm averaging almost $300 a month from it. But, um, you know, that that only happened this year. Last year, I was averaging between like $150 to $200 a month, and there's just been a, a big jump this year. Um, and I'm getting, I'm averaging around 80,000 views a month on my videos, okay? So, um, you know, each view isn't worth very much. I have to say, <laughs> my top five videos, though, don't have anything to do with couponing, and that's why people subscribe to my channel is to, to, um, for the couponing videos, but my top five videos are repair videos. And if you're looking for a topic to make you, YouTube videos, make money off of it, repair videos about anything, I think is like a really hot market. Okay. <laughs> and, um, my top video is talking about, um, fixing the tire popped off of my, um, off the wheel on my, um, lawnmower. And, I've almost made $200 on that video with almost 100,000 views on that one video. Um, and that's just the way that it, that it goes. I wish that my couponing videos would have <laughs> a lot more views on them, but they don't. And I will also tell you, my main topic is Rite Aid. And if I wanted to talk about CVS and do CVS... I would make a lot more money. Um, if you look at any of the um, YouTubers who do videos about CVS, they have probably twice the views on their videos than what I get on my Rite Aid videos because there's a lot more CVS stores out there, okay? Um, it's just the way that it is, <laughs> all right? And, um, and those people get a lot more followers, subscribers, a lot faster than what I do on my channel as well, all right? Um, I don't need to shop at CVS, and obviously, you know, if I wanted to do more at CVS to get more uh, revenue off of my YouTube channel, then I could, but my YouTube vid uh, videos, my whole channel is not about um, earning money. That's not why I do it. Um, I do it because I like to. <laughs> okay. And um, it's just a big old bonus. Okay. Um, I make way more money off of my couponing and selling the items that I coupon 
the, it bought this car. Okay. My couponing bought this car. My YouTube channel didn't buy this car for me. Okay. <laughs> that's the, that's the difference. Um, it's just, I look at my YouTube, um, revenue as just extra bonus money. Um, you know, <laughs> in my life. And I certainly do not feel like I make enough money off of my YouTube channel to compensate for the amount of time. Not necessarily the amount of time I put into making the videos, but the amount of interaction time that I have with people who follow and leave comments because I like to respond to everybody. I do read all my comments and, um, if it might just be a thumbs up or I might delete your comment like I did with somebody the other day. Um, so, um, but I do interact with the people who watch my channel, um, because I feel like that's important and, and I like to do that. Um, as for my Rite Aid videos, you know, I might average about 10 to $15 on a preview video, the one about the weekly ad coming up. The other videos, um, you know, it, it's, it's really up and down and, um, you know, most of them do not make $10. Um, they don't. Um, but my videos are really only valid for a week or less. So they're not getting a lot of playtime, um, because there isn't any reason to go back and watch them after the deal's over with. Right. Um, so I have a very short window that my videos are valid for. Um, you know, YouTube has been doing a reevaluation of my videos also. <laughs> and here's one thing. They've been taking the monetizing off of my videos. And they'll go through. And fortunately, it takes them about a week before they start doing it. Um, so, in particularly, the Rite Aid preview videos get the monetizing cut off. Now, as far as I know, they're not taking all the revenue away that I already earned on the video. There's any reason for them to do that. But they're stopping me from earning any more revenue in the future if anybody clicks on that video. And the reason I get this generic email is that my subject matter is not um, compatible with um, their advertisers or something like that, it says. So um, they've been pulling, like, like in the last couple of months, they have obviously been going through all of my videos, whoever, a machine or whatever, and taking the monetizing off because, you know, just about every day I feel like I get an email from YouTube telling me they've unmonetized some video. It doesn't qualify any longer. And that's one problem I have. It used to be a bigger problem. And um, what I do know is, is the more that I say the word coupon, the more I say the word dollar <laughs> um, or money in a video, um, the more likely they are to take the monetizing off of it. And so it's like, I can't get away from that in, in my videos. Okay. Because that's what my channel's about. <laughs> and, and it's like, if I felt like, um, they were doing it like the day that I put a video up and they were taking it away, I might complain to them more. Okay. Um, about it, but you know, as it stands, it's not, um, because like I said, my video, people aren't going back and watching these videos that they're taking the monetizing off of. Okay. Um, I do have some that I feel like, uh, I wish they didn't take the monetizing off of because they get a lot of views, but, um, but whatever, they're just some of my general, um, instructional videos. So anyhow, I hope that answers your question. I, I'm not quitting my day job over my YouTube channel and, um, <laughs> I have to continue. I have to continue that. Um, anyways, that's all. Talk to you guys later.